Welcome to the presentation. COVID-19 Infection Control Part 7 Biomedical Waste Management Hospital Waste Hospital waste refers to all waste, biological or non-biological that is discarded and not intended for further use. Hospital waste is generally classified into two types. General Waste and Biomedical Waste According to WHO, nearly 85% of all waste generated by hospital is general waste. About 15% waste is biomedical waste. Biomedical Waste Biomedical waste is any waste produced during the diagnosis, treatment, or immunization of human or animal research activities pertaining thereto or in the production or testing of biological or in health camps. Biomedical Waste Devices Articles generated during diagnosis, treatment, management, immunization etc. from patients within covent healthcare workers working in such areas should be managed in accordance with safe routine procedures and rules. Hospital Waste Management Steps Segregation Collection Transportation Treatment Safety Measures Training Management and Administration Waste Minimization and Coordination between Agencies General Instructions Using Double Layered Bags Mandatory Labeling and Color Coded Bins for the Management of Waste Generated During the Diagnostics and Treatment of Suspected and Confirmed COVID-19 Patients As Precaution Double Layered Bags That means using two bags should be used for collection of waste from COVID-19 isolation wards so as to ensure adequate strength and no leaks. Collect and store biomedical waste separately prior to handing over the same to common biomedical waste treatment and disposal facility. Use a dedicated collection bin labeled as COVID-19 to store COVID-19 waste and keep separately in temporary storage room prior to handing over to authorized staff of common biomedical waste treatment and disposal facility. Biomedical waste collected in such isolation wards can also be lifted directly from ward into common biomedical waste treatment and disposal facility collection van. In addition to mandatory labeling, bags or containers used for collecting biomedical waste from COVID-19 wards, should be labeled as COVID-19 waste, it said adding that general waste not having contamination should be disposed as solid waste as per Solid Waste Management Rules 2016. Maintain separate record of waste generated from COVID-19 isolation wards. Use dedicated trolleys and collection bins in COVID-19 isolation wards. A label COVID-19 waste to be pasted on these items also. Both inner and outer, surface of containers or bins or trolleys used for storage of COVID-19 waste should be disinfected with 1% sodium hypochlorite solution daily. Report opening or operation of COVID-19 ward and COVID ICU ward to state pollution control boards and respective common biomedical waste management and treatment facility located in the area. Depute dedicated sanitation workers separately for biomedical waste and general solid waste so that it can be collected and transferred timely to temporary waste storage area. The Central Pollution Control Board said that feces from COVID-19 confirmed patient who is unable to use toilets and excreta is collected in diaper, must be treated as biomedical waste and should be placed in yellow bag or container. However, if a bed pan is used, then feces is to be washed into toilet and cleaned with a neutral detergent and water, disinfected with a 1% chlorine solution, then rinsed with clean water. Collect used PPE such as goggles, face shield, Splash proof apron, plastic coverall, hazmat suit, nitrile gloves into red bag. Collect used masks, including triple layer mask, N95 mask, etc., head cover or cap, shoe cover, disposable linen gown, non plastic or semi plastic coverall in yellow bags. However, 
the persons responsible for operating quarantine camps or centers or home care for suspected COVID-19 persons need to follow the below-mentioned steps to ensure safe handling and disposal of waste. General solid waste or household waste generated from quarantine centers or camps should be handed over to waste collector identified by urban local bodies or as per the prevailing local method of disposing general solid waste. Biomedical waste if any generated from quarantine centers or camps should be collected separately in yellow colored bags, CPCB said. Persons operating quarantine camps or centers should call the common biomedical waste treatment facility operator to collect biomedical waste as and when it gets generated. Contact details of common biomedical waste treatment facility would be available with local authorities. Biomedical waste generated from quarantine camps or quarantine home or home care would be treated as domestic hazardous waste as defined under solid waste management rules. 2016, and shall be disposed as per provisions under Biomedical Waste Management Rules, 2016. General waste other than biomedical waste should be disposed as per Solid Waste Management Rules, 2016 only after proper disinfection. The inner and outer surface of containers or bins or trolleys used for storage of COVID-19 waste should be disinfected with 1% sodium hypochlorite solution. Food waste generated in COVID-19 isolation area is disposed as per institutional policy. The yellow category of biomedical waste include the materials under following subgroups. 1. Human anatomical waste. Human tissues, biopsy, should collected in yellow-colored non-chlorinated plastic bags. Animal anatomical waste not applicable in N coronavirus ward or OPD applicable only to NCOV research labs. 2. Soiled waste. Items contaminated with blood, body fluids like dressings, plaster casts, cotton swabs and bags containing residual or discarded blood and blood components are disposed of in yellow bag. Cytotoxic drug vials shall not be handed over to unauthorized person under any circumstances. Expired cytotoxic drugs to be returned back to the manufacturer or supplier for incineration at temperature greater than 1200 degrees Celsius. Leftover cytotoxic drugs and items contaminated with cytotoxic drugs along with glass or plastic ampoules, vials etc. to common biomedical waste treatment facility for incineration at greater than 1200 degrees Celsius in yellow bag or container with cytotoxic label. 3. Chemical Waste Chemicals used in production of biological and used or discarded solid disinfectants, residual or discarded chemical solid waste and chemical sludge are discarded in yellow-colored non-chlorinated plastic bags or containers and disposed of by incineration by common biomedical waste treatment facility. Liquid waste generated due to use of chemicals in production of biologicals, used or discarded disinfectants, patient samples infected secretions. Aspirated body fluids liquid from laboratory, ward, operation theater and disinfecting activities etc. should be collected separately and made safe by disinfection by chemical treatment using 1-2% to sodium hypochlorite solution for a contact period of 30 minutes and directed to effluent treatment system or then discharged into drains or sewers. 4. Discarded Items Linen, mattresses, beddings contaminated with blood or body fluid non-chlorinated, lime or alcoholic, 5% Lysol for 30 minutes, 5% phenol for 30 minutes, or 1-2% sodium hypochlorite chemical disinfection followed by shredding and customized to fit in non-chlorinated yellow bag for incineration. 5. Microbiology, Biotechnology Waste Microbiology Biotechnology waste that is laboratory cultures, stocks or specimens of microorganisms, live or attenuated vaccines, humans and animals cell culture used in research, 
residual toxins culture plates dishes have to be pre-treated on site by autoclaving in an autoclave safe plastic bag or container thereafter sent for final disposal in its respective color category to CNMWTF. The discarded blood bags are to be counted, sealed, weighed and all the records to be made and then packed in autoclave safe plastic bags or containers to be autoclaved on site and then sent in yellow bag to CBMWTF for incineration. In red category. Contaminated waste, recyclable. Wastes generated from disposable items such as tubing, drains, oxygen mask, bottles, intravenous tubes and sets, with needles cut, catheters, urine bags, and gloves are nicked, wherever applicable and put in red bag. The needles of syringes are cut with the needle destroyer or needle cutter preferably. The cut or mutilated syringes disposed finally in red-colored non-chlorinated plastic bags or containers. In translucent, white, category. Waste sharps including metals, needles, needles from needle tip cutter or burner, scalpels, blades or any other contaminated sharp object that may cause puncture and cuts. The needles of syringes are cut with the needle destroyer or needle cutter preferably. Translucent white category. This includes both used, discarded and contaminated metal sharps. These are stored in tamper-proof, leak-proof and puncture-proof containers for sharp storage. Collect and send for final disposal when three-quarters full. These are sent to central common waste site in tamper-proof, leak-proof and puncture-proof containers for final disposal to common biomedical waste treatment facility E. Blue Category Glass and Metallic Implants The blood sample glass vials or broken or discarded and contaminated glass like slides etc. have to be disinfected, 1-2% to sodium hypochlorite for 30 minutes at least, to be packed in puncture-proof and leak-proof boxes or containers with blue-colored marking and then sent to common central waste site for final disposal to common biomedical waste treatment facility. The uninfected glass like medicine bottles or ampoules are non-infected and are put in puncture-proof and leak-proof boxes or containers with blue-colored marking. The metallic implants are pre-treated in the same manner and are to be packed in separate puncture-proof and leak-proof boxes or containers with blue-colored marking. Color-coded bags and color category-wise treatment Look at the following table and understand the categories of wastes, types of waste, color of bags used for the collection, type of treatment and disposal for each category. Yellow category Yellow category Yellow category Yellow category Red category White category Blue category Barcode label will have to be made available on every bag or container as per CPCB guidelines. For disinfection of biomedical waste management articles freshly prepared 1-2% to sodium hypochlorite is recommended. 1% sodium hypochlorite is 1 to 100 dilution, 525 to 615 parts per million of available chlorine. Hospital supply of sodium hypochlorite is 10% or 4%. All lab waste, patient samples, blood bags, toxins, live vaccines, cultures, liquid or solid, devices used to transfer cultures need pre-treatment. Transportation to Common Biomedical Waste Treatment Facility The operator of Common Biomedical Waste Treatment Facility shall transport the biomedical waste from the premises of an occupier to any off-site biomedical waste treatment facility only in the vehicles having label as per Biomedical Waste Management Rules, 2016.
the vehicles used for transportation of biomedical waste shall comply with the conditions stipulated by the State Pollution Control Board in addition to the requirement contained in the Motor Vehicles Act, 1988, 59 of 1988, or the rules made thereunder for transportation of such infectious waste. Use dedicated vehicle to collect COVID-19 ward waste. It is not necessary to place separate label on such vehicle. Vehicle should be sanitized with 1% sodium hypochlorite or any appropriate chemical disinfectant after every trip. Proper training to staffs. Common Biomedical Waste Treatment Facility Report to SPCBs or PCCs about receiving of waste from COVID-19 isolation wards or quarantine camps or quarantined homes or COVID-19 testing centers. Operator of common biomedical waste treatment facility shall ensure regular sanitization of workers involved in handling and collection of biomedical waste. Workers shall be provided with adequate PPEs including N95 respirators, splash-proof aprons or gowns, nitrile gloves, gum boots and safety goggles. COVID-19 waste should be disposed of immediately with high priority upon receipt at facility. In case it is required to treat and dispose more quantity of biomedical waste generated from COVID-19 treatment, common biomedical waste treatment facility E may operate their facilities for extra hours by giving information to SPCBs or PCCs. Operator of common biomedical waste treatment facility shall maintain separate record for collection, treatment and disposal of COVID-19 waste. Do not allow any worker showing symptoms of illness to work at the facility. May provide adequate leave to such workers and by protecting their salary. These are the references for further reading. Thank you for patient listening.